Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce, and I'm Laurie. Today is day two of maps and apps. We talked about maps yesterday, including the very earliest maps, which were of stars, not of our planet Earth. The things like rivers and villages and、uh, forests and so on. As time went by, as time went on, maps we would understand as being maps today were drawn, but、uh, that was still a long time ago, 2,600 years ago, for the world's first and earliest map called the Babylonian world map. Today we have maps of everything. We talked about Nancy Chandler and her family. Living in and loving Bangkok in Thailand, they drew maps to help people find places that other maps did not have. Well, today we continue and expand what we're talking about from maps to apps. 没错，好的，所以呢，今天来到我们的这个呃第二天了啊、哦。那么呢，刚刚 Bruce 老师帮我们呢复习了 Maps to Apps 的昨天的这个课程的内容啊、哦，讲到从最早的地图一路发展下来。那么在文章的最后一句话呢，作者他埋了一句伏笔，他讲到说，但是啊，他举的这个例子啊，这个 The Chandler Family 呢，他们因为啊，这个大家现在都已经可以用 Google。The maps、mm. 去找出一切了，所以他们也因此就这个 went under。那所以呢，今天显然的啊、哦，我们要来连接承接下来的，就是要来谈到我们标题的 maps to apps 里面的这个后半段 apps 今天要来出现，所以我们赶快跟着 Bruce 老师一起来看一看。Let's take a look at our first short paragraph here. Speaking of map apps, some users have found that they are useful for more than just finding one's way. Well, usually a map is used for finding your way or understanding an area or a city.、Uh, however, some users of maps have found a completely different way. Rather than learning specific information about a specific place, they're playing with art. 嗯，好，所以呢，接下来我们来看到呢，这个这个第一个啊，短的段落呢，它进入讲到说，谈到啊，这个地图的应用程式啊，所以我们的 apps 出现了啊，那么有一些使用者，有一些用户呢，已经发现啊，就是 they。哦，是指这些 map apps 呢，他们是 are useful 哦，是很有用的。那么在怎么样的状况下呢？是 for more than just finding one's way， 是不止在找路上好用。所以换言之，它的用途啊，不仅仅是找路而已。One man, San Francisco's Lenny Mon, uses them to make works of art. As I just said, he's making, uh. Maps not to help you find your way around, but to enjoy the idea of a map. 嗯，所以接下来讲到说，那么有一个人啊，是、哦、哪个人呢？就在旧金山的兰尼莫恩呢。好，他呢就使用了 them 啊、哦，就是再次的啊、哦，他用这个代名词是 maps app map 的 apps。那么用这些地图的应用程式呢，来创造这个艺术的作品啊、哦。所以这里看到的 work 它是名词，那加了 s 的复数，指的是作品。Let's take a look at our second paragraph now. Lenny runs everywhere he can. Sounds like me. I run to the MRT station, and I run to catch a bus, and I run to have a fast food lunch. <laughs> you do run a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he goes, he tracks his progress using an app such as Map My Run or Strava. Sorry, it might be Strava. I have no idea. Wherever he goes in San Francisco, Lenny tracks his progress. He records his progress, which you can do apparently by using these special apps: Map My Run or Strava. Strava.、Mm -hmm. Okay. 所以呢，呃，接下来我们来看到这一句，讲到说 ，Lenny 啊，他呢是尽他所能的到处跑哦，叫做 run everywhere he can。
。那么呢，进可所能到处跑的情况下，不论他跑到哪里呢，他都会用一个应用程式啊、哦，比如说是 Map My Run 或者是 Strava 呢，来这个记录他的进程，来追踪他的进程。这里我们看到的这个 Track 啊、哦，它这个动词呢，它可以当追踪啊、哦，也可以当记录，尤其它特别有那个记录的意思啊、哦。所以这里的话，你两个意思都可以用。那么总之呢，它是要来呢保留下啊、哦、它的这个呃跑步的这个进程。那这个 progress 当然就是他这个跑的这个路线啊，他跑出怎么样的一个路线，那跑到哪里，然后有没有完成？所以呢，他都会用一个这个应用程式来这个记录他。As he runs, while he is running, the app traces a line along along the path he follows. Don't ask me how they do these things, but wherever he runs on his little cell phone or smartphone. There will be a line wherever he is running, and the line is on a map. Hmm. So you get it. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 好，所以呢 ，but it's not little anymore. The the mobile phone. Now the no. nowadays big. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. 好，所以呢，开个玩笑啊。这边讲到说呢，当他跑的时候 ，as he runs， 那么呢，这个应用程式就会 traces a line。这里的 trace 一样是一个动词啊，它平常也可以当追踪来讲，但是在这里的话，它是指描啊。我们讲的就是这个，有时候你把一个这个图啊，之前跟布鲁斯老师在聊天讲到，把另外一张纸放上去，然后你照着描出下面那个图案，那个就是 trace。但是 trace 本身也可以当追踪。哦，那这里的话，它就是描绘出一条线，怎么样的线呢？是沿着它所跑的那个路径，呃，画出来的，描出来的一条线。So to make his runs more fun, Lenny decided to run in patterns that would create amazing images. Once he realized that lines were following wherever he ran, he thought, "Hmm, I can run in a certain." Direction to make a picture or pattern that will be more fun. 嗯，所以呢，接下来讲到，所以呀、啊，为了要让他的这个跑步呢，更加的有乐趣，更加的有趣啊。这里的 run 呢，它是当名词，然后加了 s， 一样是表达复数啊。那么呢 ，Lenny 他就决定呢，要来跑呢，这个什么样的一个状态是 in patterns， 所以他要照着图案来跑。他要依照这个有图图像的这个状况来跑啊，那么怎么样的这个图案呢？是那个能够创造出令人惊叹的这个图像的这个图案，他要按照这个图案来跑。Okay, to date, that means up to now.、Uh, we don't know、uh, necessarily what happened before or what will happen, but until now, he has shared runs. I don't know how he has done that, but through the smartphone, people can follow him somehow. That have turned into images. Remember, the、uh, the smartphone traces where he goes, so he can make a pattern or a picture of a heart. I love you, that heart.、Uh, a portrait of artist Frida Kahlo. Now, a portrait is a is a painting of a. Usually of a person, and maybe just、uh, the top part of a person sitting in a chair or something like that.、Uh, Frida Kahlo. I never heard of her name before. Sorry, but we are told she is an artist, maybe、uh, in California, and everyone out there knows who she is. And more.、Um, we just have to guess what kinds of patterns or pictures that Larry. Uh, Uh, Lenny uh, produces as he runs. He thinks ahead. I'm going to run here, here, and here, and there will be a line following me, tracing me、uh, where I run. 嗯哼，所以呢，接下来讲到说 to date 啊，那么到目前为止啊，就像刚刚布鲁斯老师提到的 until now， 那么呢，不管前面是什么时间，但是到目前为止呢，他已经分享出啊，他的很多的这个很多场跑步。那他分享的跑步，其实我们现在知道都是他的跑步的路径图了啊。那么怎么样的路径图呢？那些已经转变成我们这边看到了一个片语 turned into 啊，转化为转变成什么啊？那么转。变成呢，这个都是有新型的图像啊，或者是呢，这个艺术家 Frida Kahlo 他的这个肖像的图像，或者是更多的其他的图像
，哦，那么它的这个跑步的路径图都可以变化成这些，哦，那么刚刚讲到的这个 Frida Kahlo 呢，是这个我们的编辑提到他是一位画家，哦，那显然他的这个肖像呢是对这个呃。呃，这个 Lenny 有某种特殊的意义，所以呢，他这个选择跑出啊、哦，他的这个肖像，那肖像就是刚刚那个 portrait， 布鲁斯老师提到的啊、哦，这个通常是人啊、哦，尤其是上半身以上的这个画像就是 portrait。o、okay, k let's finish up. This is the last paragraph. To do his longest painting. Lenny had to run 70 kilometers, over 1.5 marathons. Well, there are a number of things that are, are of interest to students of English in this sentence. Notice the use of the ing hao for、uh, painting. Now there are several uses for them in English. In American English, we call them quotation marks. Q U O T A T I O N quotation marks M A R K S because they are、uh, two of them. They are a pair. Two of them. Now here, when we use this, it means not really. So、um, it's not a painting. It is an app tracing somebody's actions. That's not what we usually think of as a real painting、uh, on a piece of material with colors and so on by an artist. So it's not exactly or not really that. That's one time we use quotation marks. Another time we may use them、uh, is to show that we are using someone else's speech or writing、uh, exactly the way that they wrote it or said it. So now you know. Quotation marks: How to use them at least two ways. So it's not really a painting at all. But in order for Lenny to draw a certain picture, he had to run 70 kilometers. If you're used to miles, that's over 40 miles, or 1.5. We could also say one and a half marathons. And a marathon is, I think, 40 kilometers, or about 24 miles. Uh, this is a very long. I can I cannot imagine running that far. <laughs> a long run, yeah. 好，所以呢，接下来我们来进入最后一段，来看到第一句讲到说啊，为了要这个呃创作，这里的 to do 也等于 to make 啊。那么为了要创作他这一幅最长的这个画作啊，所以刚刚呢，布鲁斯老师帮我们这个很详细的补充到这个呃我们讲的 quotation marks 啊，就是这个引号，它有两种的最基本的用法。那其中的第一种就是在在这个文章里头，他讲的啊 ，painting 放进这个引号中间呢，其实原来他的意思表达就是，其实不是真正的那个画，而是另外有含义的哦。这个时候你可以放进来。那另外一种用法就是，当我们要引用别人的话啊、哦、的时候呢，因为我们是完全一字不改的引用某人的话，那这个时候你也可以用这个 quotation marks 把它这个刮上去啊、哦。那么在这里的话呢，讲到他最长的这幅画，那为什么要用引号呢？因为它其实是。不是真正的这个作画，而是呢，它的这个应用程式呢，追随它哦，这个追踪它的时候所描绘出来的那些轨迹而形成的画哦，所以我们也可以把它叫轨迹画哦。所以呢，为了要创作出它最长的这个轨迹画，兰尼他必须要跑七十公里那么长哦，逗号的后面也就等于呢，超过一场半的马拉松的距离。Actually, it takes longer for him to figure out his route than it does to run it. In other words, he must plan and think carefully where he runs, what kind of trace, what kind of line will be drawn on his app, and、uh, he must be a pretty fast runner.、Uh, to one and a half、uh, marathons, oh. If he were a really good runner, that's probably more than four hours, maybe even much more than that.、Uh, so his planning has to be perfect, or he won't make a good pic, a good-looking picture. And that's what he's trying to do as an artist.
。没错，所以接下来讲到哦，事实上呢 ，it takes longer 啊、哦，这件事花的时间更长。所以我们首先看到这件事，这个 it 是哪件事呢？后面讲出来了，就是 for him to figure out his route 或者 his 啊、哦，这个他的路线啊、哦，就是要让他呢。想出来叫 figure out， 计划出啊，规划出他的路线所花的时间呢，比什么长？所以我们看到 then 的后面告诉我们 ，then it does to run it 啊，比起呢要实际上来跑出这条路线的时间来讲，他要想出这个路线的时间还花的更长。Before heading out, he has to take a look at the San Francisco streets and see what kind of image. Jumps out at him. To head out simply means to leave your home or your office or your school、uh, and go somewhere else. It's to head out. Here it means before Lenny's run, he has to leave his house in order to do all that running. So he heads out and starts his run. He he must know the San Francisco streets very very well in order for him to think about. All right. I want to、uh, draw a picture of a bird, and what streets、uh, will follow my idea of what a bird will look like. And、uh, when he looks at the map of San Francisco streets, maybe he sees a picture or image of something. Oh, yeah. This part of town has these streets, and if I go this way and this way and this way, the line that is, that.、Uh, Traces where I go will end up looking like a bird or whatever he wants it to look out. To jump out at means, oh yeah, there it is. It becomes obvious to him. It becomes clear to him. 嗯，所以呢，接下来讲到说，那么在他出发之前啊、哦，所以这里的 head out 这个片语啊、哦，这个出发之前呢，他必须呢要来看啊、哦，这个旧金山的街道。那么这里的 streets 讲的当然不是真正的街道，而是街道图啊、哦。那么看着这个图要干嘛呢？他就是要看能够有跑出什么样的这个影像啊、哦，是能够让他灵机一动的啊、哦，就是刚刚这个 Bruce 老师讲的这个，让他突然就看到，觉得说就是这个了啊、哦。那么这样的感觉。叫做 jump out at somebody. Okay. Then, after he does his planning, he figures out how he'll run around and create something that will make his fans smile. So first, he imagines a picture of something. Then he has to decide. Okay, I have to take this street and that street to this street and that road and so on. He plans it out. And、uh, when he's finished, he hopes. His fans, the people who follow him、uh, on their smartphones, will enjoy what he's doing too. 嗯，所以接下来讲到，那么然后啊，他呢就会去安排出，去想出他呢要怎么跑。然后呢，能够创造出某个啊，这个我们知道其实一定是一个 image 啊，这里的 something 就是某个这个图案啊，是呢怎么样的图案会让他的粉丝们都微笑的图案，那就是那种会心一笑的图案。It's a whole new way maps are shaping our world. If you consider this a map, and some people do, then hmm, it becomes art, and that's a different way for people to think about maps. Hmm. 所以接下来呢，最后这一句讲到说，这可以说是啊，这个地图要塑造我们世界呢一个全新的方式。Okay, we're ready for our review now. While we were talking, I was thinking about English is actually Englishes, meaning people use English differently in different places, even in the English-speaking world. What? There's American English, there is British English, there's Nigerian English, there is Japanese English. Uh, English is spoken in many ways around the world, even in countries like the United States,、uh, where people use English. Now we said "root," R O U T E, root, pronounced like R O O T, the root of a plant. But if you go to the central United States or even further to California, you will hear people say "route." The same word has different pronunciations by English-speaking people, so don't be surprised if you hear 
when uh, people from English-speaking countries have different pronunciations. That's normal. Even here in Taiwan, in the north and the south, when people speak Taiwanese, you can hear sometimes some different words. Uh, or different pronunciations of words. 嗯哼，所以这里的话呢，呃，布鲁老师帮我们补充的是说，借由今天文章中出现这个 root 这个字，啊、呃，它呢有时候你在美国的中部或者是这个呃加州呢，也会听到有人发音是发 route。那么这样这个部分呢，这样的概念来讲到说，其实同样是英文呢，就像我们的台语一样，有些字词它是根据地方的不同或者讲话的种族的不同，其实也会有不同的发音。但是大家不要觉得很奇怪。遇到的时候把它记下来，遇到一个记一个，其实就可以了啊、嗯。好，那么以上就是我们今天的文章。那么同样的，如果呢你希望能够复习的话，记得到 YouTube 上面打入“常春藤”来搜寻影片的话，就可以让 Bruce 老师跟我来陪大家复习我们今天的课文了。那么到这边为止，那么希望下次可以很快的再见。那要跟大家说，拜拜。Bye bye. Bye bye. From maps to apps. Speaking of map apps, some users have found that they are useful for more than just finding one's way. One man, San Francisco's Lenny Mon, uses them to make works of art. Lenny runs everywhere he can. Wherever he goes, he tracks his progress using an app. Such as Map My Run or Strava, as he runs, the app traces a line along the path he follows. So, to make his runs more fun, Lenny decided to run in patterns that would create amazing images. To date, he has shared runs that have turned into images of a heart, a portrait of artist Frida Kahlo, and more. To do his longest. Painting, Lenny had to run seventy kilometers, over one point five marathons. Actually, it takes longer for him to figure out his route than it does to run it. Before heading out, he has to take a look at the San Francisco streets and see what kind of image jumps out at him. Then he figures out how he'll run around and create something that will make his fans smile. It's a whole new way maps are shaping our world.